Amazon Japan tool haul. Actually, this is two orders from Amazon Japan. I still have items I'm waiting for, particularly this silky accessory, this leg strap accessory. I don't actually have the silky item that uses these. It does not work with my silky nata. So I got those, nothing to use them with. This was a very pleasant surprise. These are really nice. C6 style bit that's long. This is a PB Swiss and these are discontinued. And I found one in Japan. So I got it on Amazon Japan. But let's just see how does it fit into this bit holder because it's a C6. Okay, it fits. These are made more for these style bits. So of course they fit the American anvil size. And of course they also fit the Asian anvil size. These are really nice, high quality. And uh, I, I found them to be quite handy because I usually what happens is, is that I have the, the Torx 25 in my Milwaukee and then I also carry out the 20 to 15 and the 10 with me because I do use those different head screw types for various things out in my yard, believe it or not. My uh, bird feeders, um, things like that, that I end up taking down, cleaning up, that kind of thing. So this, this makes a, a nice way to carry those bits with me at my side. This package of bits that comes from Vessel is 5 16 hex. And then because it comes from Vessel, it's Japanese. And because it's Japanese, it's Japanese industrial standard and not Philips. So here's a 5 16 hot set and here's a 5 16 Vessel. You can see that Vessel did not put the machining to lock into the chuck. So here's the chuck, or here's the adapter. This is 3 8 to 5 16 and the, the hot set of course locks in there. The Vessel bits do not lock in here. They slide right out because they don't have the machining. There it is. Vessel made in Japan. Okay, so let's take a look at this item. So this is a Top Tools double-ended adapter. So you can do the pre-drill and then you can put the screw in. And they've made it quite nice so that you, you push forward on the locking collar, it comes right off. The locking collar uh, stays in a detent and it's ready to be uh, put back on and then it locks. So they did, they did a really nice job with the design on that locking collar. They made it convenient and efficient just like that. The drill bit you cannot push in. You got to pull the collar back and then put the bit in. All right, so that is the top tools, double-ended bit adapter for making quick work of pre-drilling. And then I got a bunch of vessel bits. One of them that I got is a number four. You might say, well, what do you use? What do you need a number four bit for? Well, audio visual. So these are bolts from TV mounts. So this is a vessel number four in that TV mount. For comparison, here is a PB Swiss number four in that same bolt. And here's a PB Swiss number three. You can tell it's not the right size. And here is the vessel number four. Feels more like a PB Swiss number three than a number four. Yeah, but it doesn't fit into a number three. That's a, that's a number three. Here's a PB Swiss number three. Interesting. So that, I don't know. Don't really, don't really like that. I wonder about here. Let's, here's a, here's the five sixteenths. Yeah, so that, that's better in there. 
Okay, so that's the vessel, double-ended number four. And then I got some more of these bits, these 100 length number two vessel uh, Japanese cross type are just so, so nice for working on computers. So that little dot on the top edge of the screw indicates that this is a Japanese industrial standard fastener. And this is from the inside of a, inside of a uh, computer. It's a mounting screw. Naturally, that means that a Japanese industrial standard cross type is going to work way better. It's going to be perfect. It is. I mean, it's absolutely perfect in this, in this screw. And that is also why I bought this large vessel number two in a 300 millimeter length because this will very nicely reach into computer cases. So on, on a large PC case, here's, here's another really, really nice bit adapter, this Viha with the Centro fix. Oh man, this is so nice on these. It's, uh, I don't like the handle as much as I like the hot set, but, the, but this bit holder end is better than the hot set. And this, this is just unbelievable how little to no play there is in this, in this Centro fix bit. So this is probably gonna stay just like this. And then these bits, these are, this is the smallest Torx I could find. So this T4, I think, if I remember right, it's been, it's been a couple of months, but I think that this Vessel T4 was one of the only T4s I could find in a Torx. That's really small. So then of course I got the four, the five, the six, and the eight to make a series. I'll take those bits out and I'll put them in my Vera, what is this? This is the KK62. Um, so this is the Vera KK62 empty textile case. So I'll put those four bits in here to kind of finish out my vessel bit set in the 70 millimeter length. So that's the plan with that. These bits will also go in into this textile case and these are security bits. And it's nice to have a long security bit because sometimes, and I had this happen, I ran into a security screw and the short bits did not have enough clearance. So these are security bits. So these are security bits from Earthman. Um, let's see here. So these are made in Taiwan, not made in Japan. Uh, whereas all these vessel bits are made in Japan. So we can see the, the machining on there. And then these are, these are made in Taiwan. They're pretty nice. They seem, they seem pretty good. Uh, haven't had a chance to use those yet. Okay, so that covers the bits. Saw blades, okay, I got some more Zet saw blades. The, these blades are replacing some blades that I already used. This is a used blade. I used this in my backyard when I was working through the emerald ash borer ash trees, getting through the brush. I used these blades down close to the ground to cut buckthorn off close to the icy ground. It, it saved on my chainsaw blades and other blades that I just didn't want to ruin by you know, running them through the dirt and the mud and the ice. So I used these and I put these blades in a Milwaukee M18 hacksaw. I had this with me on my tractor and I went out and I hacked through those buckthorn. And this is the this is the, uh, I can't remember if this is the SK-11 blade. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at my own tool haul video. I can't remember if this is the SK-11, but I think it was. You're not looking at rust. That, that is, 
that is um, that is sawdust from from buck, from a reddish buckthorn. Okay, so. So the point that I wanted to make was even after use in, you know, dirt and ice and whatnot, pretty, pretty rough use, not just cutting through clean wood. These blades have retained their edge and their sharpness. They are still sharp. And I think that I see a blackening on the tips of these, and that would indicate that they were induction hardened. So these, I mean, these are still sharp, razor sharp. Um, this one, yeah, this one, this one is still very sharp also. So these aren't ruined, they're just bent up and they don't cut as nice, so I replaced them with some of these. So I replaced these blades that I used and I found out that Zetsaw made a new blade that is 300 millimeters. This is their biggest, coarsest toothed recip wood pruning blade right here. This is made in Japan and it is a beauty. Zetsa 300 millimeter. Um, here's the silky pocket just to show the size of the uh, teeth, just to compare because this one is listed as having a large tooth. And this is the Silky Pocket Boy Curve 170. So you're looking at very similar tooth size to the uh, Zetsaw Reset Blade. So, wish I had this when I was doing all that tree work. It would have been a great review of it. Um, those areas in my yard right now are extremely muddy and I'm not going to go back there and take B-roll footage just, just for this video. Sorry. <laughs> so that is a small, uh, small, hopefully not too boring tool haul, uh, Amazon Japan. I have some other Amazon Japan items coming, uh, hopefully getting some more silky items. So... That's what I've got as of April 2021, Amazon Japan Tool Hall. Thank you for watching.